The National Drowning Prevention Alliance is sharing resources and new information to help ensure a safe and enjoyable summer swimming season. Here's more. This summer season, we want parents to be working with a full set of information so they can make the proper water safety decisions for their children. One of those is also on how drowning actually presents. It does not present like it would um, in a TV show or a movie where the victim may have their arms flailing in the air and calling for help. Drowning is fast and it is silent. It can happen in as little as 20 to 60 seconds and it can be completely silent as a child would be submerged under the water. Another important fact to keep in mind is drowning is the single leading cause of death for children ages one to four in the country. And about 70% of our toddler drownings are happening during non-swim times. So NDPA is reminding parents all across this country to practice the five layers of protection. It's important to keep in mind that each of these strategies have to work together to truly reduce the risk of drowning as one single strategy is not enough to fully and completely eliminate the risk of drowning. The first layer of protection is barriers and alarms, restricting access to water, especially during non-swim times. We recommend for backyard pools the use of a four-sided isolation fence. Second is supervision. We should practice close, constant, and capable adult supervision anytime children are expected to be around the water, and even for our weekend and non-swimmers, we encourage touch supervision where you can reach out and touch your child at any time. The third layer of protection is water competency. NDPA reminds parents that the first sport you should enroll your child in this summer is learning to swim. All other sports such as football, baseball, uh, yoga, and soccer are all really exciting to participate in with our children, but none of them are as life-saving as swimming is. The fourth layer of protection is the appropriate use of life jackets when in, on, or around natural bodies of water or anytime you're boating. And that doesn't just go for the kids. We also remind adults to practice good life jacket wear as well. And then the fifth layer is emergency preparedness. Remember, drowning is an accident. It happens when we least expect it to. So knowing what to do in an emergency and how to call out for help, including how to perform CPR with rescue breaths is critically important. Again, not one of those layers is enough to fully prevent drowning on their own, but by working together, those evidence-based prevention strategies can significantly reduce the risk of drowning. To learn more about the facts about drowning, to learn more what drowning looks like, and to learn more about the five layers of protection, including why swimming should be the first sport you enroll your child in, visit ndpa.org slash first sport to learn more.